Well, maybe the fifth time will be the charm. That's how many drafts there have been of an ordinance to regulate marijuana dispensaries in Los Angeles. The fifth one, the latest one, has three dozen proposed amendments to it. Gina Silva and John Suada live right now to tell us the latest attempt and how uh, actually we're faring here. Is it blowing smoke, Gina? <laughs> you know what? It's going to be a very long day out here in City Hall. Council members, as you know, they're getting together. They're trying to figure out how to reduce the large number of medical of marijuana dispensaries in L.A. In the whole area, there are more than a thousand of them. So critics are saying there's just too many. So that's what the problem is. They're also arguing that pot is available to almost anyone with cash. And, of course, that was never the intention. Now, just a few minutes ago, the power went out. So council members had to uh, call for a recess. John Schwatt been in there all morning long. John, are they making any headway whatsoever? Uh, well, they're not, and this power outage uh, probably uh, uh, caused a number of wags in the audience to say, well, not only is the power out in this room, but also common sense has left city council for a long time. But but let's, uh, let's uh, Gina, one of the things that's, uh, that they're trying to grapple with is putting a limit, a lid, on the number of uh, marijuana clinics. Now, there are two ways of doing that. They haven't even begun discussing uh, uh, any of the substantive issues surrounding this proposed ordinance, but the two ways to control the number of uh, clinics are one is to just put an absolute cap on the number of cl clinics throughout the city. There have been talks about putting it as low as 70, as high as 400. The other way of doing it is to set uh, uh, limits on how close uh, marijuana clinics can be to each other, a thousand uh, feet from each other, how close they can be to churches, a thousand feet. Some people have suggested 500, 500 feet, right. uh, and all of these would, of course, have put serious limits on the, on the number of clinics in the city. Now, the city attorney's office has brought out some different of their uh, different members of their staff this morning uh, to address the council. It looks like they may try to play a little more hardball with the well, council they're obviously on this saying issue that the of uh, is... sale. sale, sale <laughs> you know, they yeah. believe that it's illegal that it's illegal and, you know, these marijuana dispensaries uh, are illegal and he wants to shut them down. Uh, Cooley has been saying that. Cooley's been saying it, but also this morning uh, what we had was on a website, uh, Daily News website, this morning uh, uh, Rick Orloff, a veteran uh, uh, Daily News reporter, actually uh, talked to... Uh, Mayor Villaraigosa coming out of a meeting this morning and asked him about these clinics and he said that the attorneys, the city attorney, the district attorney are all telling him that these clinics are illegal and so he wants to have some additional input of his own into this issue. So First time we've heard from the mayor on, in this debate. Just a wild debate going on inside Tony and Jean and obviously it doesn't look like they're going to finish anytime soon. The power went out. Who knows when they'll be back in but again, it's going to be a long, long day for city council. Back to you in the studio.